instead of giving you some opinion today, I'd like to give a quick heads up on a couple of enforcement issues that I think are really crucial to the good name, the good performance, the standing of our industry. The first is uh, a new enforcement tool available to the regulators, the Environment Agency. This week comes in on the 6th of April 2015. They're called Enforcement Undertakings. Now this is an important step forwards in regulation of permitted facilities whereby the operator can say, uh, oh, I've committed a minor offence. It could be failure to comply with a permit condition. It could be something to do with record uh, keeping. What you do is you contact the regulator immediately and say, uh, I seem to have uh, committed a minor offence. I'd like to enter into an enforcement undertaking with you if I can. And it's a way of you saying what it is that you think you've done wrong, what you intend to do about it to make sure that it doesn't happen again, and how you put right any damage that you think might have been caused. This is an excellent way of uh, facing up to a problem that you have uh, created or encountered without necessarily incurring prosecution through the courts. So there could be great benefit for the operator to do it. The regulator, of course, isn't obliged to agree to the enforcement undertaking if they think the situation is serious enough to take normal uh, court-based enforcement action, then of course they can. But I think this is a big step forwards. It's a system that's been working well on packaging waste, producer responsibility, particularly record keeping. For the last several years, uh, it's worked very well. I can see absolutely no reason why it won't work uh, just as well uh, with permitted facilities. Now, to make sure that the industry is properly prepared for that, CIWM will be amending and updating its training. You'd expect us to do that. Uh, but also, I'd take this opportunity of advertising the fact that there's an absolutely excellent double page spread on enforcement undertakings in the April 2015 version of the CIWM journal, free, of course, to all members of the institution. Enforcement undertakings, look out for them. I think it's a big step forwards for how we are regulated. The second is even bigger. It's a major uh, consultation and call for evidence being conducted jointly by DEFRA and Welsh Government. Uh, it's a game of two halves uh, and it's a consultation on enhanced enforcement powers for the regulators that will have no compliance cost for good compliant businesses. That means the government and the regulators want to bring these changes in pretty quickly. They are enhanced powers for the regulator to enter sites, to take action, to close them down, to stop them from receiving more waste if the site is clearly out of control, to take much more immediate direct action through the High Court. We expect that the compliant industry will say this is the sort of toughened response from regulators we've been expecting and I expect that the industry will say by and large these are measures that we can support. The second half is much bigger and it's what DEFRA are calling a call for evidence. They're looking for proposals from the industry and people around the industry on what else could be done to clamp down on waste crime and to bring up persistent poor performance in our industry. Uh, that could have many forms. It could be ways of making sure that landowners are more aware of their responsibilities, what they can do if something happens with a piece of land that they own where they uh, are suspicious of a waste offence having been caused or may be caused in the future. There are other important steps like introducing some form of financial provision at waste management facilities such that if something does go wrong, if the waste is abandoned, if the site itself is abandoned, then it's not the public purse that's paying for the cleanup uh, and removal of the waste. There are also calls for evidence in what could be done for the technical competence of our industry. That's how we prove, not just to the regulator, but to the rest of society, that we are fit to operate sometimes quite complicated facilities with difficult materials at the best of times. And CIWM will be working very closely with WAMITAB, all of our members and all of our partners around the industry to put forward proposals as to how we can bolster the meaning, the standing of technical competence uh, and our right to operate facilities. Don't forget it closes on the 6th of May 2015 so there's not a lot of time to respond to this call for evidence. If you're a CIWM member, if you're a partner organisation with CIWM, for heaven's sake talk to us, we've got to get this one right.